Praise y'all, brothers and sisters. Praise y'all. I am going to share an event that's going to be ha- that's going to happen. It was recorded by Yohakanan um, when he was on the island of Patmos. And all of that is written in the book of Revelations or the book of Hizon. Hizon. And um, just to show you how we have to know how to dwell in the secret place of the Most High, which I'm leaning on believing that it is his name. And there are, there is definitely one audio that ask that question and it's mentioned in a few other audios on this platform so you'll see what I mean as I read from Hezon chapter 9 and the fifth messenger or angel sounded and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth the Haretz And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the greater light, which we call the sun, and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth, and unto them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yahuwah in their forehead. And to them it was given that they should not kill them, but they should be tormented five months. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man. And in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold, and their faces were as the faces of men. And they had hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the teeth of lions. And they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron, and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. And they had tails like unto scorpions, and there were stings in their tails, and their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a king over them, which is the messenger, the angel of the bottomless pit, whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue hath his name Apollyon. One woe is past, and behold, there come two woes more hereafter. So for us to be protected from this calamity, we must be among those who have the seal of Yahuwah in our foreheads. The seal of Yah in our forehead. So what could possibly cause us to not be protected to not have the seal of Yah on our forehead so if we don't have the seal of Yah on our forehead we are not going to be protected from that his name right his name and we want to have his name on our forehead We want his word written on the fleshly tables of our heart. We want our mind always staying on him. We want to know to call on his name 
we were told by Yahushua that if we would ask anything in his name, if we be commandment keepers, we could ask anything in his name and it will be done for us. So I just wanted to do this quick little audio just to give you an example of an event that's going to be happening where we will definitely need his protection. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth and upon them was given power as the scorpions of the earth have power. And it was commanded. Remember in um, Numbers 21, part 2, talked about, I, I said that the word of Yah was removed. Because the word of Yah, once Yah speaks his word of protection, we are protected. So it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth, neither any green thing, neither any tree, but only those men which have not the seal of Yah in their foreheads. Deuteronomy 6, I was reading that this morning, and um, it was saying how when we keep the commandments, how we will be blessed. And so... I'm going to read a little bit of that now. Deuteronomy 6. Now these are the commandments, the statutes, and the judgments with Yahuwah your Aloha commanded to teach you that you might do them in the land whether you go to possess it. That you might fear Yahuwah to keep all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you today, that you and your sons and your sons' sons all the days of your life and that thy days may be prolonged. Hear therefore, O Yashael, observe to do it that it may be well with you, and that you may increase mightily as Yahuwah, your Aloah, of your fa- the Aloah of your fathers has promised you in the land that flowed with milk and honey. Hear, O Yashael, Yahuwah, your Aloah, is one Aloah, and you shall love Yahuwah, your Aloah, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. And these words which I command you this day shall be in your heart. And you shall teach them diligently unto your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk is by the way and when you lie is down and when you rise is up. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and they shall be as frontlet between your eyes. So that's our head, right? And you shall write them upon the posts of your house and on your gates. We have to keep his commandments. We have to know his name, live by his name, call on his name, not tempt him, but be diligent in keeping his commandments and his testimonies and his statutes. We we need to be diligent about doing right and good in his sight so that it can be well with us. We want to be preserved from the calamities that are coming upon the face of the earth. Now, the event that's that's going to take place that uh, I read in his own nine, I do not know if that's during what they call the day of Yahuwah, because the day of Yahuwah is full of woes, and it said that was one woe. So... If that's the case, that is how we're going to be kept from the calamities, the woes that are going to be taking place during the day of Yahuwah because we're not um, subject to his wrath. During the tribulation, everybody's going to be suffering something, whatever, because the enemy is out to destroy all mankind, but he is zeroed in on the commandment keepers, the remnant of Yahuwah. Um, So the day of Yahuwah, I am not sure if that's going to be happening simultaneously. If it's going to be one after one one um, event, the other one happens. You know, so I don't know if it'll be after the 1260 days or the 42 months or three and a half years. 
because you can find it written either one of those time frames but it's all the same event so i don't know if after the great tribulation the day of yahuwah will happen or if it'll be at the same time all i know is we have got to prepare to be in the right place and to have his name on our forehead his seal on our forehead so that we can make it so that we can prosper and that we do not be among those that will have calamities coming to us so we've got to start preparing for us for that um and so that's what i wanted to bring um to you today and um hopefully hopefully we will continue to work while it is day because the night cometh when no man can work we've got to already be where we got to be and um until then I just ask you to continue to be encouraged and continue working towards that time. In 2 Timothy 2 verse 19. Nevertheless, the foundation of Yahuwah standeth sure. Having this seal, Yahuwah knoweth them that are his. Let everyone that nameth the name of Yahushua HaMashiach depart from iniquity. Nevertheless, the foundation of Yahuwah standeth sure. Having this seal, Yahuwah knoweth them that are his. So that lines up with the Revelation 9 when he said, to the locusts they were commanded to not hurt them but only those men who have not the seal of Yah in their foreheads and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of Yah in their foreheads so what do locusts usually do that's what they usually attack right are the grass and the earth and the green thing but that's not even what their mission is going to be about they are not going to even be eating their 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 mission is to torment for five months those who do not have the seal of y'all in their forehead and to them it was given that they should not kill the men but that they should be tormented five months and their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he strikes a man it's going to be so awful that in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and death shall flee from them and then the match and the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle and on their heads were as it were crowns like gold and their faces were as the faces of men and they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth was as the teeth of lions and they had breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle and they had tails like unto scorpions and there were stings in their tails and their power was to hurt men five months once again confirming five months I remember years, <laughs> you know how I always say, years and years ago, like I'm a hundred years old, but, <laughs> but years and years ago, um, I, I heard speculation that those were helicopters just by the way it was explained, but I don't know. And does it really matter? Yah is calling them locusts. So they must be locusts because he says that they will not hurt the the grass and the trees or any green thing, they're gonna be some terrible looking specimens. And one thing is for sure, it is gonna happen for five months. People are not gonna die from the stings, the horrible stings, the torment of the stings, torment. So it doesn't matter what they're gonna look like, they're gonna be awful looking. 
strange looking, with five months of torment. So, as the serpents came, after the people had another, or another round of murmuring and complaining and accusing Father, he sent the serpents. Let's learn to dwell in the secret places of the Most High, which could very well be his name. Let's have his name on our forehead because that is what is going to, what well, his seal, the cotton seal. And when you think about the seal during, um, they say kings, they have a seal. I know countries have seals, but it's some type of um, ownership. And I'm gonna to try to get back to that second Timothy. Um, but he said that, that it's, it was, it's, Nevertheless, the foundation of Yahuwah standeth sure, having this seal, Yahuwah knoweth them that are his, and that everyone that names the name of Yahushua HaMashiach depart from iniquity. So let's have his seal on our forehead, that when he sins, when he allows the scorpions to be released with that smoke out of the pit. <laughs> and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. So it's even going to be dark during that time frame. You know, there's, there's um, some videos out that talk about the three days of darkness, which I haven't found that written like that in the scriptures. Um, and I don't remember any of them because I have listened to a few of them. I don't remember any of them listening, so I'll have to go back and do research where they get that scripture from. I know that that was one of the plagues um, in Misraim. I don't know if it was three days, 10 days. It may, have, it may be listed, if not in any of the translations, maybe in the book of Jazz. But anyways, I am closing, brothers and sisters. This is a real event that's going to be happening. And we know that when Yah says something, it takes place. And we want to be among those that are protected from the torment of these locusts for the five months that they will be tormenting men to the point that men will seek death and can't find it. They'll desire to die and death will flee from them. Death is going to, even, even death is going to have an assignment. Flee. Don't let anyone find pleasure in death. So let's be encouraged. Let's keep fighting this good fight of, of belief in Yahuwah. And let's stand strong. And let's be preparing. Let's be preparing our hearts. Let's be preparing our hearts. So in the name of Yahuwah, let's stand. I love you, brothers and sisters. We have work to do. Until next time, remember that we win. But we win in Yahuwah. Not in our own stead. We win in Yah. Salam. Shalom, shalom. Shalom. See you.